Um, so I wanted to show you something really cool that Screencastify has got going for us. Um, it's called Screencastify Submit. It's in beta mode right now, which means they're testing it um, and really looking for feedback. Um, my feedback is that it rocks. Um, it is awesome. And it is just what I feel like every teacher, especially elementary, has been looking for. So what it is, is it allows us as teachers to offer our students a chance to submit screencasts. They can either submit um, a recording of their screen with their voice or a webcam on them, their face, um, along with their voice. What I've been using it for so far with my kiddos is for read alouds. What's been really hard as a fifth grade teacher is to continue to hear all of my students reading aloud um, and scheduling has been really difficult. So a way that they can read aloud to me and requiring no add-on extension, um, no downloading of anything, and also show me their screen. Um, I know that things like Flipgrid allow the video um, for read alouds, but you can't see what they're reading. Um, it's not a screencast, it's just a video. Um, Screencastify Submit allows students on their screen to record their screen, whatever they're reading, and read aloud to us. There's a lot more you can do with it, um, but I'm gonna focus in on the read aloud because it's been a total game changer for me. So it's just this simple. Um, the way that you can get it is if you just go to Google and type in Screencastify Submit, it's the first thing that comes up, it's Submit, and um, let me see, actually, it will look like this. Um, and you just want to go, it says coming soon, um, request early access, click on that, type in all your info, and they'll send you an email with a link. And it will show you this, um, you'll see a whole other video from Screencastify explaining it. But let me show you how I've been using it. So it's really simple. Once you get access, you can click to create a new assignment. You'll see that I had a test one that I did. Um, and my students are currently doing a digital read aloud of a book that the author, awesome author, um, and local author, Tom Kiernan, has given us access to read aloud. Um, and the students are reading it on their computers and are able to show me the pages as they read aloud just for little snippets um, and record their screen along with their voice. So really simple. You click new assignment give it a title, give it directions. So I'm just gonna pretend here with test, test. You'll give a little bit more than that. Um, and then you decide the recording type. Do you want students to be able to record their screen and their microphone? Um, or do you want it to be a webcam and microphone? Um, it's important that you are looking at these notifications. Um, I turn off the email notification because I don't want my email blowing up. I'm at my computer um, and watching them come in. Um, so if you're not and you wanted the email notifications, you totally can. Um, and this is a really important one to read as well. Um, so I turn that one off. This one's off automatically for you. This is if you want everyone who submits a video to be able to view other submissions. That's similar to how Flipgrid works, um, that any of the kiddos could see other kiddos. Um, for read alouds with my fifth graders, that's not happening. Um, they are more willing to participate wholeheartedly if they know that it is only me. Um, maybe we'll get there sometime, but for right now, I am having both of these off. And then it's that simple. So you can either share it right to your classroom and schedule the post, or you can share the link. So let me just show you. So if we copy this link, it will on their end look just like this. Give it a second here. Um, and it would say the name of it and the directions. Students would then, remember this is the student view now, um, it may prompt them to sign in with Google. So students don't need to add any extensions. Um, all they need is a Gmail um, connected account. So with that, 
they then click record. And I have them record their entire screen because I want them going in between tabs. Um, if they were sharing something like a video with audio, they would click here. So if they wanted to share that, um, and then they just click share. It does a little countdown here. And then this is where you control the stopping of the recording. It's recording my screen and everything now. Um, and this is also where the students will be able to preview and where they will ultimately submit. So let's just pretend that I wanted my students right here. Um, we were They were reading something here on my IXL page. Um, and I had them reading blah, 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 blah. Then when they're all done with their reading, they would just come back, they'd click stop recording, and they'd actually be able to preview their video um, and listen to themselves as they go through. If they wanted to redo it, they totally could. Um, for mine, I for read alouds, I tell students make their mistakes. I want to be able to hear them. Um, so with that, it's totally up to you. Um, and there are tons of possibilities. All students have to do here is click submit. And I know it's absolutely crazy um, that all that they end up doing, see right here how it says submissions? If you were to click on any of these, it would, so if I went to my test here, it will bring you right to your Google Drive. So it's important to make sure you're all connected and signed in there. And it has a folder that it will just slowly populate. They'll start popping up. And then you can just listen to your students read and see what they're reading. Um, there's a ton of other possibilities for this, but I know one of the hardest things as an elementary school educator um, during distance learning has been to listen to our students reading aloud and really assessing those foundational skills, that fluency. Um, and this has been one thing that has been, as I said before, a total game changer for me. I hope that it works for you. In the comments, I will have a the link to the Screencastify submit um, so you can request your early access. Hope this is helpful.